Hey, what's up guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron. Hey, finally today, let's get this party started. Man, I was waiting for this moment for a long time, you guys know, right? So the engine is here and uh, there's no more excuses. We just have to go and do it. And trust me, I'm super stoked that finally I can do that. Well, uh, this video, I'm not gonna talk a lot. Uh, let's see how far we can get today. I will uh, arrange everything. Probably I'll put the frame here on the table, put the engine in and the swing arm. Once it's uh, assembled like that, I'll move it uh, over there to a stand. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what, what works the best. But uh, in this video, as I said, I'm not gonna talk a lot. I'm gonna listen to some music. I picked up this Bluetooth speaker that is actually pretty strong. It's really good solution for the garage. It can connect Bluetooth to your phone. You can do jack jack or also it has an FM radio. It's uh, not expensive, it's some um, uh, Chinese brand, but it works pretty well. I'll put link below in the, in the description. And also, uh, let me know guys, what kind of music do you listen in, uh, in the garage when you work on your bike? Uh, I usually go for uh, like some classic rock, or I would listen to worship music, or sometimes I listen to uh, country. So that's my three choices, what I do in my garage. So let me know below in the comments, what kind of music you listen in your garage. Here I got all the little bolts and parts when I took the bike apart. This is everything I took apart from the bike. So the goal is pretty clear. Once I'm done, there should be nothing left here. First of all, let's replace the clutch cover. I'm gonna take the old one off and put new handsome clutch cover on. It should look pretty nice. There should be a rubber seal that goes inside. I'm just gonna use the old one, take it out and uh, wipe it clean and put it into this new Hinsman clutch cover. Let's get our swing arm ready with TM Design Work PCs. This is a chain guide and a slider. Then, uh, and also, I forgot to mention, I'll, I'll be using this uh, Loctite uh, medium string on uh, most of my bolts so they don't come loose from the riding, from the vibrations. So
The swing arm seems to be working fine. I'm gonna take it, put it on a stand down, and we'll keep going.
I want to install the wheels, so I need to get my brakes ready. And uh, for the rear, I got this new Tusk, uh, what is it, the shark fin for my rear brake. So this brake caliper mounts uh, somewhere here. And before I do that, I want to replace the brake pads because I got a new ones. And uh, because everything is new, so I might need to push this, uh, this valve back in. I'm gonna use this old rusty C-clamp that should work just fine. Brake pads are in, the gap should be big enough for the brand new brake rotor. So I guess right now we're ready to put it on a swing arm. Here's my task brake pedal, look pretty nice. And I'm gonna use All Balls Rebuild Kit. So that's about it for today. She's sitting on the wheels, rear and front, everything is in. Uh, we got rear brake uh, completely set up, uh, engine is in, suspension, everything is in. So I think uh, 
it was a good day, you know, I had to take a few breaks, I had to go back home and, you know, take care of kids and stuff like that. But uh, I think, I think it looks really good. I think, you know, we are, we are getting close and, I mean, look at all these parts I'm putting in. Uh, man, it make me so happy. Everything, everything looks super, super great. I'm, I'm really stoked, you know, just looking at it. I guess after I'm done with the video, I'll just stay sitting in the garage and looking at the bike for like half an hour and then I'll go home and I'll go to sleep. I think it's like uh, midnight, I don't have my watch, but it's around midnight now. So uh, next time when I have, uh, again, I have time probably overnight during the week, uh, tomorrow is Monday. So probably over the, over the week, I will have uh, at least one day I can do some work uh, overnight, like start at 10 and work till like 2 a.m., something like that. So hopefully we can uh, get way more done. So this is about it for today. Let me know below in the comments how you like it so far. And don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.